We would like to acknowledge the Yuggera people and the Turrbal people as the traditional custodians of Mianjin, the lands in which we record this podcast today. We pay our respects to Elders past, present and emerging. Always was, always will be Aboriginal land. Welcome to a Healthcare Australia podcast created for healthcare professionals by nurses on the inside. I am Zana. And I am Jessica. And we are HCA's newest brand ambassadors. So welcome to this podcast. We are taking over this podcast now. We're going to be bringing to you amazing nurses, amazing doctors, amazing allied health staff, everyone who works for HCA. We're going to be showcasing everyone, international people coming over here. We're going to kind of cover the whole process of moving from international to Australia for a job. Um, and we're just going to cover pretty much everything that HCA encompasses because we have worked for HCA for such a long time. We are both actually registered nurses ourselves. So we have been working for HCA for ages. I've been working for HCA maybe three or four years now. Jess has been working for HCA for over five years. Um, we love the company and we want to sh- spread the love of agency living because it's not just your day-to-day shifts that you can do. There is so much more and we want you all to experience agency life because we love it so much. We absolutely do love it. It's a huge passion of ours. We want to dive in a little bit about our story so you can kind of understand a little bit about Zana and I. So hello again, my name's Jessica. (laughs) Um, Zana's right, I've been with Healthcare Australia for five years now. Um, I began back in Perth, Western Australia. I'd always heard of HCA as an agency but my view of it was just kind of the day-to-day shifts. And I think that's what a lot of people view HCA as. Mm. Um, I decided to look into it a little bit further after talking to a nurse who just come back on a contract. So this was something I didn't realise HCA actually did was the rural remote contracts. Um, I absolutely thought that I was not senior enough to be doing something like that. I think I was a nurse for about five years when I had this conversation with her. Um, and literally this five-minute conversation changed my world Mm -hmm. I was like so inspired I realized that I did have enough qualifications and experience behind me to do something like this I contacted HCA and I started my first amazing contract so this was five years ago and like we have some incredible stories that we can't wait to share with you and we'll definitely dive into more stories as the podcast progresses with each episode because we just want to make these short and sweet and little recap but today the focus is actually about what HCA is and what it can do for you and your lifestyle because we're all about designing your life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely and like Jess said obviously both of us have been with HCA for a long time. I started with HCA I guess more full time about three years ago, um, I went through a major life change, a major breakup. And a lot of things that we and Je- me and Jess talk about very frequently is that everyone who joins an agency, everyone who becomes an, becomes an agency nurse, an agency doctor, an agency, any healthcare professional has a story. Everybody has a story of what led you to this place right now. It might be a heartbreak. It might be a happy story, but everyone has a story. And my story was I went through a giant heartbreak. And I needed a major change. I needed to move out of the city that I was in. I didn't want to be there anymore. I wanted complete and utter change. Um, I was working through kind of the height of COVID when it first happened. My speciality is in ICU. So it was intense. Um, Just as the word explains it, it was crazy. And I needed a change because I was burnt out. I had compassion fatigue. I was losing my passion as a nurse. I was losing the touch that I had and I became a nurse for a reason. I became a nurse because I have that connection with people that I love to make people feel like they have a safe place with me when I'm looking after them and that the care that I provide them is next level and is everything that I can possibly offer someone. So when I started to lose that connection, I needed a change. I knew I needed to step back and find the passion again. And so I decided to join HCA um, in the rural remote sense. So I packed my entire life up I packed my car with all I needed and everything else I got rid of and I drove on my first contract and had no home, left everything behind and I went to first, my first contract was at Griffith, New South Wales and then since then I've been to Wagga, I've been to Grafton where I worked in a correctional facility and then Thursday Island and then now I've been doing Metro for some Brisbane and that's now led us to this job as brand ambassadors. So the journey has been huge, we've both worked across rural and remote and Metro 
And the opportunities really are endless. Um, there obviously is going to be a lot of talk about nursing stuff in this podcast, just because we are nurses, but HC certainly does not just cover nurses. We want to highlight doctors, midwives, allied health, corporate health, everything that is under the umbrella umbrella branch of healthcare, yes. HCA covers. Absolutely. So anyone can listen to this podcast. It's not just nurses. Everyone can find something here, we hope. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, we just want to kind of give you a cover of what HCA is. Um, we both believe in working for, some, for a company or working for someone that then makes you feel like you're working for yourself. So yes. I love to think of it like instead of having to work, you're choosing to work and you're choosing this lifestyle because it's where you want to go. It's what you want to do. You work when you want to work, you create your own roster, you design your own life and you make great coin doing it. So all of it is positive (laughs) and we're going to basically dive into everything very deeply throughout this podcast um, series. But yeah, today we just want to cover what HCA is. So we started this job with HCA as brand ambassadors, maybe three weeks ago now. Um, This podcast will come out as we're coming into kind of the end of our month uh, with HCA. Um, as brand ambassadors and we met every single team every single part of HCA we had to meet for this job because we needed to be across it all we needed to know everything that HCA covered so that we can be the face of the company for you to tell you everything that we know and my goodness the amount of companies and areas and everything under HCA as an umbrella is huge absolutely like enormous absolutely huge things that we didn't even know Jess has worked for HCA for five years and didn't know some of the stuff that we've learned in the last three weeks yeah. it is mind-blowing and opportunities are literally for everyone AINs huge demand huge demand absolutely and we just want to make sure that everyone here knows to join HCA right now <laughs> absolutely like honestly I've I love this company for five years. I've been like so nicely respected by the, my colleagues, like my rural remote consultants have been incredible. The ops team, which is in the Metro department have been incredible, but meeting every single state and learning all the different umbrellas. I actually didn't realize all the stuff that I had missed out on, Mm -hmm. like that. I just wish that I knew about, and it's Mm -hmm. our job now as brand ambassadors to expose all these things so that you guys can design your life and actually know what is possible with healthcare Australia. One huge thing that I love to teach people and, and, like about my own journey is that you can upskill as a Mm -hmm. nurse through agency. Now I think my view on agency was that I had to be this really senior nurse and I can't do agency unless I'm like super senior. That's what was in my head. Yes. You need to have some clinical skills. They say uh, one year full time for general nursing Mm -hmm. um, and then two years for specialty. So that's things like ED, ICU. Okay. And this is full time. And that's because you just, you need to have that under your belt to actually kind of go to a new facility and be able to cope with that kind of environment. So fair enough. But I had been doing ward nursing as well as some theater work. And I was then in recovery when I made this decision. Now I started doing a rural remote contract in theater. So I wasn't just doing recovery. I was having to like reskill back into scrub scout. So I was like regaining new skills again. So I was already really like pretty excited about that because I like to learn. Um, But from my like adventure of going through agency over the last five years, I was then able to step my foot in the door to emergency. And I know Mm -hmm. that a lot of nurses out there have wanted to get their foot in the door with emergency. And sometimes in the cities and stuff, it is so hard to get that foot in the door. But because I was in um, doing a rural remote and I had really good uh, connections, I just said to the NUM, I was like, look, I'm agency. I'm a really hard worker. I would really love to expand my skills. Will you take me? And they said, yes. You know, I used my initiative um, and I got to stay with Healthcare Australia and actually move into an emergency role and learn emergency for nine months at that facility. And then I moved on to Tasmania. I got to then do corrections. And now over the last five years, the amount of skills and the amount of growth that I've had as a nurse all while being agency and earning the most amazing coin ever. Like the passion is just so alive right now. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Agreed. And I was in ICU and obviously my speciality is ICU. It's a very specialized field. It's very hard to kind of branch into other areas from that because it's so experienced and so senior, but I was able to move into corrections as well and yeah. try something completely different and work in primary healthcare, which then gives you the pathway to work into emergency because you're working in a primary healthcare facility. You need to have very good emergency skills for that environment. So we we have grown so much as nurses and as professionals through working as an agency nurse. Um, and it goes for all agency careers. You can progress so much through 
the agency that it's not about I guess coming into this agency and and having to be this super skilled person that has to be across everything yes you have to have certain skills to be able to be adaptable go to different facilities go to different places be a people person because you're going to meet a lot of different people But you don't need to be this incredibly experienced person. You can actually just be a person that has experience that helps the team. And then you can also grow yourself through it as well. So the experiences and and opportunities that we've had have been amazing. And I think a lot of people are worried about the amount of work and they don't really know that the abundance of work is like a giant mountain that we're trying to fill. There are so many positions and I know people have financial insecurity, like worries because you're not tied into necessarily a one year contract or a permanent contract, but the amount of contracts that you can get in so many different areas of HCA are amazing. And you can actually have consistent back-to-back work. There is so much work. You could actually be like 20 people and work full time in 20 (laughs) different places because there is so much work. Like you don't have to make Healthcare Australia a side hustle. You absolutely mm-hmm. can. If you're working part-time and you want to just have a little bit of extra income, you can absolutely do that. But a lot of people do that because of the fear of finances. Mm-hmm. Um, I have made Healthcare Australia my main income, my only income yeah. actually. Sorry, not even my main. It's my only income for five years and I have doubled my income mm-hmm. from what I was back in Perth, Western Australia and I have doubled it. Like, I'm not even kidding. And that is because there is so much work available. Mm -hmm. You do need to be adaptable and flexible at times, yes. But if you're a hard worker, you can go so far with this company. I tell you now, um, the different areas of Healthcare Australia, so the way, like, the the different terminology is what we've kind of learned by by being ambassadors. So you've got metro. What metro means is the whole day-to-day shift. So Healthcare Australia has an app. We'll be able to go more into this in different episodes as well, but they have an app where you can put your availability in AM, PM, night duty, and that's where you're having full control of your own roster, okay? You get an alert on your phone that says you've just been, um, what's it called? You've been Allocated. allocated a shift at, Gingerlup Health Campus, do you accept yes or no? And you say yes. Okay, you've got the opportunity to say yes or no. And yes, you have the chance of being cancelled. That's the one thing that people worry about. But the actual, like Healthcare Australia will do their absolute best to get you another position somewhere else. So that's the metro side. You can also do block bookings. Now, this is something that we only mm-hmm. discovered like what, nine months ago? Not even nine no, months ago, probably six. four or five months ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Our minds exploded when mm-hmm. we found this out. So it's not available on the app. You can't see block bookings on the app. So you actually have to use your initiative and phone Healthcare Australia and speak to your consultant and say, hey, this is my position. I really want some consistent work, 38 hours a week. Um, is there anything available? This is my skills. And they'll say like, there's a ward here that need a full-time nurse for three months, agency rates, do you want it? And that's what a block mm-hmm. booking is. Um, and then you'll notice on your app, you'll have all those shifts allocated. So that is so cool. I did not know that was available. And we want everyone to know that that is available. You just have to phone HCA and actually ask them. And yeah. then I'll give it to Zana to talk about the rural remote section. Yeah, so rural and remote is obviously what me and Jess were working with for a very long time before starting Metro. Um, but these are also contracted uh, contracts <laughs> and you can go – anywhere around Australia. Like the whole of Australia. Whole of Australia. Every single state, including Tasmania mm-hmm. and Northern Territory, like all those amazing spots that you're thinking of, yes, you can yeah. go there with Healthcare Australia. The list is endless and you get a weekly report of all – once you obviously – sign up with HCA, you get a weekly report of all the rural and remote contracts that are available. Um, there are multiple ways you can go about it. You can choose one from the list. You can also do what they – I don't know what they exactly call it, but it's basically where they they – exhibit you to the facility and they say this person's available for these dates in this place do you have anything available and 99% of the time they will take people they will take anyone because they're so desperate so it doesn't just define you to this list you can actually say hey I've actually always wanted to go and work in Alice Springs it's not on the list this month but I have eight weeks free in my year and I really want to go can we just make please make this happen they can make a call directly to Alice Springs Hospital. Yep. And they can ask and say, this person's really cool, like really keen to come. And they will probably say yes. And you can actually like advocate for these jobs yourself as well. So I think that one of the main things about agency is that instead of just cruising along, being hired by someone, expecting them to kind of tell you what you're doing and whatnot, this job 
as agency, you have to work for yourself. You have to be your own boss and you have to not wait for people to come to you to offer things. You need to stand up and ask for things yourself because if you don't ask, you're not going to get. And also like a lot of the time, maybe you're not going to get the things that you want, but it will come back around and you will get more things that you want in another time, another place. But I think a lot of people sit back and expect consultants to come to them and HCA to come to them and say, look, we've got these block bookings. But at the end of the day, all of the consultants are very stretched. There's a lot of people that work for this company and you have to take some initiative to work for yourself as well and advocate for yourself because at the end of the day, you will be working for yourself. You're working as your own boss. Advocate for yourself instead of waiting for it to come. Like put it in your mind that you are designing your life. So the more that you communicate with your consultant and say, this is what's going on in my life right now. I want to work one day a week. I want to work five days a week. Or say you're saving for a house and Mm -hmm. you're like, I want to work six days a week and I want all the overtime and I want all the night shifts because I'm saving so hardcore right now. Communicate that with your consultant and they're going to be able to look at what's available and offer these things to you. So exactly, that is the biggest thing that we just Mm -hmm. want to share with you guys is there is so much potential Mm -hmm. with this company. Like already with our own personal stories, we hope this inspires you because that is why we're ambassadors. We literally have gone through the last couple of years meeting other nurses, inspiring other nurses. Like they're so burnt out with COVID and just even shift working and just, you know, gone are the days that we have to apply for annual leave Mm -hmm. and and, and sit there and be like, oh, next Friday night, I really want to go out with the girls. You design your own life. If you don't want to work Friday night, you just put yourself as unavailable. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So that is the best thing. And I literally would never go back to a full-time permanent position. Neither would I. Unless I'm a brand ambassador. (laughs) This is the only exception. (laughs) This is the best job in the whole world. And our job is to inspire you and to educate you on the possibilities that Healthcare Australia can give you. So we hope... We have inspired you Yeah, today. and you can find us across all social media, basically. So we're basically taking over HCA on the socials. We also have our own profile account, um, which is linked to HCA, which is HCA Ambassadors on Facebook. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to message us there. Um, we also are available on the HCA Instagram, HCA LinkedIn, HCA Facebook, all across all the HCA groups. There are so many HCA groups um, out there. Um, nurses in Australia, nurses working down under, nurses HCA the HCA way, there's so many, so, yeah. so many. But if you just go to healthcare.australia on Instagram, that can be your first kind of portal. And then you can yeah. kind of message, we'll see the messages and then we can get you into those specific groups as well. We're also on TikTok. We, we have are. just gotten TikTok, mm-hmm. Healthcare Australia. Um, and we're going to be doing some really funny, down to earth nursing reels, just mm-hmm. and in, TikTok, sorry, not just reels, um, just to show you outside of humor you know yeah. you've got a bit of personality and we're putting a bit of personality into healthcare australia yeah so if you guys have any ideas any funny things that you want us to do any things that you want us to talk about we're going to be interviewing a lot of healthcare staff through this podcast to kind of just show you and make you hear from people that are actually working on the inside we don't want this to just be you know a podcast to try and you know make you come work for HCA. We want to show you why people work for HCA and show you why it's such an amazing company. We have friends that have worked for Healthcare Australia for 12 plus years and they live and breathe purple. Like we often say, and Jess's favorite quote to use is that she bleeds purple Uh, and and she does. And she's worn purple, I think out of maybe the 20 days that we've worked in the office, (laughs) I reckon like 19 of the days she's worn purple. (laughs) And we don't just do that because you know, we work for them. We do it because we actually genuinely love it and we love the company. And we wouldn't have taken this job if we didn't love the company because we would never do things as individuals that don't align with us because why would you? Why would you just do yeah, something that doesn't align life with you? Is too short. You can tell when people don't like a company or don't actually want to promote it and they're just doing it because they're getting paid. We want to do it because we friggin' love it. Yeah. We are and, so inspired yeah. and we actually just genuinely want to inspire you guys. So yeah. please reach out to us. Ask us any questions. We're going to be doing weekly episodes, which we are, are going to drop every Wednesday. Mm-hmm. So you can listen to our lovely voices every Wednesday. <laughs> and yeah, we're super, super excited, guys. Yeah. So um, we hope you enjoyed this episode and stay tuned for future episodes that we're going to be coming in the following weeks. All right. Bye, bye guys. guys.